In this experiment, we will be lighting a $5 bill on fire. The cool part of this is that the flames will mysteriously extinguish and the $5 bill will be left unharmed. How is this possible? Keep watching to find out. To begin, you'll need to collect the following materials. Safety goggles, salt, matches, tongs, ethanol, a $5 bill, a beaker, and a graduated cylinder. Be sure to ask your parents for permission before gathering these materials and do not perform this dangerous experiment without them. Now we're ready to really start the experiment. First, prepare an ethanol and water solution that consists of 50% ethanol and 50% water. Next, add a sprinkle of salt to the solution. Soak the $5 bill in the solution. Using the metal tongs, pick up the $5 bill. This next step is dangerous, so it's important that you follow directions very carefully. Not that you shouldn't have been doing so all along. Move away from the solution. I repeat, move away from the solution. This is very important because the solution is flammable and we do not want it to burst into flames. Then light the $5 bill on fire with the matches. Be careful to keep the bill away from you to prevent burning yourself. The bill will appear to burn with a colorful flame. When the dollar bill is soaked in the ethanol water solution, the ethanol has a higher vapor pressure than the water and is located mainly on the outside of the bill. Compounds with high vapor pressures are explosive and form a high concentration of vapor above the liquid. This is because the molecules can escape more easily and evaporate. When you light the $5 bill with a match, the ethanol is what burns, not the water. Also, ethanol burns at relatively low temperatures, so the temperature at which the ethanol burns is not enough to evaporate all of the water. Water has an unusually high specific heat, too. This means that water will change its temperature less when it absorbs or loses a given amount of heat. This is why the bill stays wet and doesn't catch fire. The salt is the agent that causes the flame to change color. Thanks for watching.